name is Peter Madden. I'm the co-producer of this, this rally and I'm with Kilo Land Ministries and the National Marriage Coalition. Marriage you can't mess with. Marriage is an age-old construct. It's not arbitrary. It wasn't invented by government or the state. Neither can it be reinvented by the state. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and shall become one flesh. It was Jesus Christ himself who attended and blessed the wedding of Cana of Galilee, guys. And it was mentioned in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 2. Uh, Christ himself said, as also mentioned earlier, have you not read that he who made them in the beginning made them? What did he make them? Let me hear you. Male and female. That's how God has made them. And said for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. That's the order that God has put in place. to understand the nature of the separation of church and state and is inherently self-contradictory for whilst intending to keep religion separate from the state but actually promotes it. Uh, this morning I asked Xavier what do you want as parents and that was without provocation Zadie so answered what do you want for Zadie, for parents Zadie? Um, um, I want them to be happy and kind to all the parents all Right, and then what sort of what sort of people do you want to be? Um, uh, 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 what do you want as parents? What do you want that to be? What sort of people do you want to? Um, a mother and father. That's right. Do you find this offensive? No, no, no. Your interruption. Lovely. 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 Lovely to pray for this nation that we would not go down the path of Sodom and Gomorrah, down the path of destruction, but we would turn back to him and stand up for truth. Amen. My name is uh, Peter. Barbara, my wife, we're here to support. For me, it's, it's a simple issue. I've got three beautiful children, mm. two heterosexual, one homosexual. So why would I want inequality for, for any of them? They should all have an equal equal say in life and equal opportunities in life. And to me, it's as simple as that. Okay, I'm Judy and I'm the president of Peak Flag New South Wales. Um, I have a gay son. Um, and he has a wonderful partner and we have two daughters who are straight and they're married and have children and the reason I'm here is because I want my son to have the same rights as my daughters. Um, they both uh, were able to um, marry with family and friends um, in a beautiful ceremony and I want my son and his partner to have the same rights. We're here today because uh, we're fabulous, my gay friends are fabulous and they should have the same rights and quality as everybody else. Hi, I'm Alison. I'm a 28-year-old heterosexual woman from Sydney. I'm here to support marriage equality because it just does not make sense to me why I'm afforded certain rights that my friends who are law-abiding, family-orientated and tax-paying people who are citizens in this Australian democracy are not afforded the same civil rights as me. It just seems wrong. And, it, and saying that marriage is only between a man and a woman, I strongly feel is a form of institutionalised discrimination in this country. So it's time to get rid of that. We're a country with freedom of religion and religion should not have a say on a civil issue. Vera, and this is my, um, my, um, my um, Polly. I'd like her to be my wife, but she can't be my wife because it's against the law. And I love her very much and we've been in a relationship for a long time. 
10 years and it would be wonderful if we could um, have a further commitment. But the other reason why I think this is so important is because I think the more equal we all are, the more it will remove the stigma of being gay. And, um, and that's really important to me because there is a lot of sadness um, in our families around being gay. You know, uh, my grandson tried to commit suicide because he's gay. Uh, my mother died and didn't talk to me for years before she died because I'm gay. And, um, you know, it's difficult for our daughters to come out and say, you know, I've got two mums, whereas it should be just a normal thing. Yeah. Hi, I'm Marvin. I'm here at the Marriage Equality Rally with my partner of three years. Um, we've been engaged for six months and we'd really like it if our marriage was legally recognised so in the future we can invite our family to our own wedding, have kids in the future and you know, be together and have our relationship um, recognised by the Australian Government. I'm Deborah. I'm Marjorie. We're from Queensland and we met five years ago and we fell in love instantly. And we would really like equality for all. Um, yes, so yeah. that's why we... we want to get married, we want to be able to get married. So we've done the commitment thing in Vegas, but you know, it does, that's not recognised as the full Monty, so we'd like... Make it legal. And, hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Anthony. Uh, we've been together for 16 years. Uh, I arrived in this country in 94 and met Anthony a year later and uh, well, the rest is history. We've been together for 16 years and um, I got my permanent residency and my Australian citizenship based on our relationship. Um, we still can't marry. and um, we feel she and her partner should be able to get married and I celebrate with them. That's as simple as that.